I don't reckon we'll trip it. All right. The dryer. <laughs> the dryer we use a lot. 9.3, 9.3 kilowatts. Look at these fucking panels hanging <laughs> over the roof. That, that is absolutely disgusting. And make sure you use an installer that knows what they're doing. Today is the 1st of July. That means the battery rebate is now kicked in and we are back at some installs we've previously done. So what we've got behind me is a Sig Energy 10 kilowatt inverter. We're gonna see how quick we can fit two batteries to it. So start the timer. All right, we got done in about 15 minutes. It was a little bit longer than what I was thinking it was gonna be but there's not many systems where you can add two batteries in 15 minutes. And it probably would have been five if Phil didn't leave a cable connected. <laughs> we've got a 10 kilowatt single phase inverter and we've got 16 kilowatt hours of storage below. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the grid supply main switch and that's gonna simulate a blackout. Uh, so once we've turned that off, we're gonna go in the house and we're gonna see how many things we can run at once uh, and keep the house running. So. All right, so we're running completely off the battery now. We're inside, lights are on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn all the lights on in the house, the telly's on, and we're gonna turn on the air con. We're gonna check how much power we're using on the app. Uh, right now, without the air con running, we're using 0.6 kilowatt. I don't know if you'll be able to see, that's pretty small. But we're gonna load this thing up and see how much power we can pull from these batteries. If we turn the heat right up, so we pull as much power from it, That'll probably, take a minute. That'll probably take a minute. That'll probably take a minute to kick in. Let's have a look what the app's doing. It's gone up to 1.4 kilowatts. All right, so oven is on full power on the oven. The house is now pulling 3.8 kilowatts. This is a 10 kilowatt inverter, so we've still got six kilowatts of power we can be using. Uh, we'll try to turn on some more lights. Is there anything else we can turn on, Bob? Do you some power? Maybe coffee machine or? Well, I'll, tell what, we'll, I'll tell you that what, I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get the microwave going too. We've got a kettle here. Yeah. Kettle's on. Well, now, now we're up to 5.7 kilowatts, but we've still got more power to use. So we're completely off grid. We're running solely off the batteries here. I don't reckon we'll trip it. All right, 5.4, let's see what the microwave does. Probably add about two kilowatts to it. The dryer, <laughs> the dryer we use a lot. <laughs> we're gonna get close to tripping it with a dryer run on two. We're at 7.2 kilowatts now. Now, the only thing is with these battery modules, each one can supply four kilowatts at once. So we're getting close to the eight kilowatt limit. Um, so we've got the ducted heating all the way up, all the lights on, TV on, microwave running, kettle running, Dry. and now the dryer's going on. This is what I'm worried about because we're at 7.4 kilowatts. Let's see if we can overload it. Realistically, you're not gonna be running this much stuff in the house at once. Dryer's just kicked in. Uh, let's see, we're at 7.4, it's gonna climb in a sec. Surely this will trip it. 9.3, 9.3 kilowatts. So we're actually pulling more from these batteries than they're supposed to, and we're still running. That is crazy. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you reckon, Bob? <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, I reckon that test passed. All right, we're at job number two. Behind me, we've got a 25 kilowatt three-phase inverter. This one has whole home three-phase backup as well. We're gonna stack up 40 kilowatt hours of batteries. All right, let's set the timer, see how long this takes us. Ready, set, go. All right. Harvey, you're right in the way. I'm carrying an 80 kilo battery through, mate. 120. Watch your watch. And this is why the boys get free gym memberships working at NGLet, because you need it lifting these. What are we at, Raf? Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. All right, ready, Phil? Yeah, one, two, three. Towards you a bit. A blowout. Oh. All right, how good does that look, though? There's not many battery systems in this size that are this compact. All right, now we've got to get all the bolts and brackets to hold them all together. We'll get all those done up and then we can fit some covers and then connect some cables in. The three phase units have um, like a, a lug 
and a bolt to do up the connectors. So it is a little bit, a little bit fiddly compared to the single phase ones, which have just a, a plug that just clicks in. So it is a little bit more time consuming getting that done, but I'm very confident that we'll still be able to stack, oh no, 40 kilowatt hours of batteries in under half an hour and have it working. 33 minutes, we've gone over the half an hour, um, but that's because when the boys did the install, they didn't leave a couple of cables long enough, so we've had to extend them. So key thing normally is when we know we're coming back to do batteries later, um, we make all the cables long enough, but unfortunately, a couple of earth cables are too short, so we're gonna have to crimp some lugs onto them and extend them up. Um, but apart from that, the AC's in, all the DC's in, and it's all stacked up. So five minutes to crimp that cable, and then we'll be up and running. <laughs> at 40 minutes um, but plug this in and we are done this is a nice little decorative cover it's got an LED down the side the, um, the homeowner can uh, make them do different things you can have your state of charge light up with how much capacity is in the battery or you can turn some nice Christmas lights on might even show you that in a minute once we're all up and running 41 minutes and 20 seconds to do a 40 kilowatt hour SIG energy stack and it looks amazing. <laughs> You're gonna sweep up that mess? No. Exactly, so don't, don't do it anymore. Get the camera lens. Okay. All right, so we've just finished everything off. Everything's all commissioned. Now, this system is using the 25 kilowatt three-phase SIG energy inverter, and we've got five eight kilowatt hour battery modules to total the 40 kilowatts. We've also integrated full home three-phase backup. There's not many systems that can do that. This customer can literally run anything and everything in a blackout, and with this size battery, it will last days. Uh, the other thing is the customer is looking at joining Amber VPP. What that is is basically access to wholesale electrical rates. Now, with Amber, the price fluctuates. So it can be as low as a few cents to buy power. And when there is high demand on the grid and issues with the grid, you can actually sell your battery power to the grid. And the prices go between 15 and $18 per kilowatt hour at times, instead of your typical four cents that you'd feed back to the grid usually. With this size battery, if there was a price spike of $18, he could make $700 in one day. Having this large inverter means we can push that power out quickly and make that money. The other thing we've done with this installation is utilize a SIGA Energy EV charger. This is a 22 kilowatt charger, so it can charge a car super fast. Now, being a SIGA Energy charger, it ties into the whole SIGA Energy ecosystem. What does that mean? Well, instead of paying to charge your car off grid power, we've set it up so when there's surplus solar energy, that automatically feeds into the car. The best part about this project is the customer's gonna be saving $7,000 per year. If you're sick of paying for electricity, it might be time to consider pairing up the solar and battery rebates and saving some real money. If you wanna follow along on our future projects, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.